Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days Night Let's Play. This is Season 8, Episode 17, and we're just down here in, underground at Bedrock, and I'm just kind of designing a little little hidey hole thing for me down here while I'm waiting for daytime. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm going to make walls here. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do here. I just know that I like the idea of walls here, and then maybe like taking one of these out and putting maybe some bars here, you know, so I could see the ladder or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, what I'm going to do here, but it's not really important because today we have a very important task. We have to go out and get yellow flowers and iron. And as you can see right here, I've cleared out my entire inventory uh, and we're going to go out and get some iron. Now, as far as roaming hordes go, uh, I don't think I had one last night, which is very odd. Or if I did, it didn't affect my frame rate. I did hear some zombies up there, but uh, my frames were pretty high. So I'm not really sure if there was a roaming horde or not. So we're just going to have to go and see if there's been any damage. Uh, I definitely didn't hear them going like crazy up there. So if the, if the roaming horde did come through, I don't think they attacked my house. So let's go see what we can see. By the way, I'm going to leave the frames per second up there if you guys care. Uh, if you want me to take it away, let me know. I'm actually not quite sure what the key was for it. So, But if you want me to take it away, let me know. Just have to make sure I had food on me. All right, we gotta be quiet here. So hold on. Um, don't know if there's a horde up there or not. <sighs> All right, you know what? Let's see what we got up here. Nope, no horde. Just one big fatty McFadish. And actually, I'm not even going to bother killing him. Not even worth my time. Let's go looting. We got flowers to pick. We got rocks to pick. Yeah, I said that right. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to get to work here. Uh, now, I'm going to like loot these rocks as I go. As I break them up. Because um, I haven't been getting a lot from those rocks. But I did, I did watch Fat Planet playing, and he actually loots the rocks as he breaks them. Because those rocks break down in, like, stages. And he loots them as he breaks them, and he gets more loot than me. So maybe that has something to do with it. I, I don't know. But... We're just going to kill everything in the air. I don't, want to, I don't want these guys following me. Alright, so let's kill this one. Alright, now we gotta kill Fatty McFatterson here. Piece of cake. For those of you who want to know how to melee zombies effectively, basically when you're going in on the zombie, you start meleeing before you get to him. You have to time it. Uh, and once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. But you want to time it perfectly. So, oh, look at this. Somebody's been digging. I wonder if they were breaking the rocks. Or if that was me. I don't think zombies would break the rocks. That would be quite irritating if they did. <laughs> oh man, I broke that one apart. One. Look at this. It's pretty nice. Alright, loot him up. Okay, so we've got 28 iron fragments from there so far. You know, it's, it's a good way to do it. And the thing is, you can put these iron fragments in here and get scrap iron, but you don't want to do that. You want to cook the iron fragments. And you also... You also want to cook the girders that you get in the south. Uh, someone mentioned on one of my previous videos when I was talking about going to the south to get the girders for iron. They told me, don't break it down. You get way more if you cook it. And that's totally true. That goes for everything. Uh, hubcaps, everything. They, you get more uh, iron from them if you break them down. I mean, if you, if you melt them uh, as opposed to breaking them down. So that's a little tip that I'm gonna have to remember. Look at this. They're digging into like digging into the side of the mountains for some reason. I don't know, it's kinda weird. Zombies are weird. So yeah, so I'm gonna not break down anything. I'm gonna bring it all back and cook it overnight. Now as I mentioned uh, previously in my last video, next video will be another building video. And then the video after that, I'm probably going to go down to south to get girders. And I'm hoping that that will be my last loot video for some time. So, you know, we'll see how that goes, but, uh, you know, I don't want to be doing loot videos every other video, but the fact of the matter is I just need a lot of iron, and there's, you know, there's no way around it. I'm just going to have to go looting. 
All right. So we're just going to run around here at random. It doesn't matter where we go. If we see a, you know, if we see a rock off in the distance, we go and get it. It's, you know, this is a very relaxing loot run. It's not like going through Dyersville. You know, oh my god, i got to find a gun safe. Oh, oh, they're trapping me in here. Oh, there's some dogs. Um, oh, getting close to the cold, cold place. Now, we don't want to... We don't want to go to the winter biome, that's for sure. So let's start heading the other way. I guess we just start heading south, basically. Just make sure we're pointing south. Alright, we got some zombies out here. I don't know how that guy on the ground didn't see me. I mean, yeah, of course, he wasn't looking my way, but still. I was making noise. I was standing right behind him. It's kind of funny. Okay. One thing I hate about breaking these stones is you can't see the stuff on the ground, so I always feel like I might be missing some of it, because holding down E doesn't always suck everything up properly. I think I'm going to go shotgun on these guys, just because I'm getting sick of like taking a long time to kill them. Hopefully it won't spawn a horde. I might be a little over concerned with the sound of the guns and spawning of hordes. You know, I don't know, maybe I am. Maybe I worry about it too much and I should just use my gun more often. I got a ton of bullets. How many yellow flowers have we gotten so far? Yeah, we gotta go look for some more yellow flowers. Although, I guess iron is a bigger concern. Yeah, I definitely think I spawned some zombies over there using the shotgun. Or maybe they would have spawned anyway, who knows. You don't even need stamina to break these things, damn. That's pretty sweet. I don't know what to talk about, guys. Uh, you know... I'm doing the loot run like you want me to, but I don't really know what to say. Um, I'm kind of surprised there hasn't been an update. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, no alpha 8 point... Well, we did get an alpha 8.6, but I mean a real update. One that would force me to start the new world. Thank God. Like, they could just hold off on that for quite a while. That would be really nice. You know, give me some time to enjoy the game. And, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. I, I, I don't want to, like... Uh, yeah, let's take all that. I don't want to put up too many videos because there is a, cer a saturation point, you know, where people might get bored, and I don't want to burn you guys out on my videos before the you know game's even in beta. So that's why I don't put up you know a bunch of videos every day. Plus, I don't want to burn myself out. You know, I don't want to end get to a point where I'm like, okay, I'm just playing the game because people want me to, but I'm really not having any fun. You know, you gotta pace yourself. One of the one of the most important things in gaming for me personally is keeping the hunger to want to play games. Sometimes the hunger of wanting to play the games is more exciting than playing the game itself. Like, you know, you know what I'm talking about when you're at school or when you're at work and you're like, oh, I can't wait to get home and play that game. You know, that's like some of the best feelings in the world. And I love them. And if you just play the game whenever you want, all the time, like, you know, it kind of takes away from that wanting to play it. And that wanting to play it is a, is a really good feeling. Especially when you finally do get home or you're on your way home and you just... You just can't wait. You're so excited, you know? I'm just going to let you guys know, you kids out there, that feeling's going to get less as you get older because, um, first of all, <laughs> when you're older, you don't know the crazy hormones running through your body and, you know, you're not... Things don't get you as excited as they once did. But also, because when you're an adult, you can buy whatever games you want. You have all those games. I mean, I play whatever game I want anytime I want. And, you know, part of the problem is, you know, having access to those games and being able to play those games whenever I want actually hurts my... I'm not going to say it hurts my enjoyment of the game, but it's not quite as much. I know it's kind of hard to explain. I think you guys know what I'm saying. And if you don't, you will eventually. Alright, so... I'm not going to go out of my way for yellow flowers, though, because I really... I've already got 50 flowers almost, so... What we really need is iron. We've got 132 iron ingots. What was 132 iron ingots? Is that... Is that 11? Not ingots. We've got... 132 iron fragments. I think, what was that, 11 ingots? So, yeah, this is... We gotta go down south and get the girders. There's no doubt about it. 
I mean, these rocks are nice, but the girders are going to be real nice. You're gonna die again. Alright, so let's go ahead and drink some. Alright. I love that yucca juice, man. That stuff's the bomb. It's just like it's just like the yellow flower the the goldenrod tea, except I don't think it quite fills you up as much. Uh your thirst meter, but still, it's really nice. So, I've got nothing to talk about, guys, uh, as far as the game goes. This is not anything you haven't seen before. You know exactly what's going on. I've got absolutely nothing to say. So, I'm going to talk about other things, because, you know, what? I don't know. What else am I going to do? Uh, if I cut the video, this is going to be the whole video, so then I'll have a video to show you. Anyway, um... Anyone here playing Beasts of Prey? Uh, Beasts of Prey is a dinosaur survival game set in... Uh, it, it seems kind of like a apocalyptic world. Like, I don't... Like, maybe... I don't know. Maybe you're, like, on an island or something. But it is, like... Uh, it's not, like, tribal stuff. Like, like Stomping Land. It's, like, you know, today. What's over there? What is that? It's a camp. Should we go after that camp? Why not? Anyway, it's not, um, it's kind of like a, like, modern day, but you're kind of, like, out in the wilderness, and you like, imagine if Jurassic Park, you kind of, like, were put on an island with dinosaurs, and somehow you could make all this ridiculous, like, arms and stuff, and, uh, it's pretty cool, and I've actually done a couple videos on it, you guys should go check it out, um, Beasts of Prey, it's, um, Fat Planet LP actually did a, uh, an interview with the developers, and, uh, uh, he did like a podcast slash interview with the developers and uh, they seem like really cool dudes and I'm um, quite excited about their game yeah dinosaurs seem to be a big thing now I mean you got stomping land now you got beasts of prey So it seemed like last year was, well, the last decade has been the decade of, uh, of zombies. And now, who knows, maybe, uh, maybe this year will be the year of the dinosaur game. Kind of like open world survival game. A little bit like, like Rust. Uh, you know, mo modern. It's going to be PvP, except it's got really cool crafting systems. And you can make, like, towers and, like, uh, you know, guard towers and stuff. Really, really cool game. I gotta do some more videos on that, actually. It's in heavy development. It's being updated all the time, which makes it actually hard for me to do Let's Plays for it. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, a rocket launcher. We will not be using that rocket launcher. We'll be breaking down that rocket launcher for metal. Because a rocket launcher, okay, it's going to be good for like a couple shots, but when all's said and done, it's not really that useful. Okay... All right, cool. Let's move on. Uh, what else have I been playing? Okay, so I got this new game called Trove, which is kind of like Cube World and Minecrafty, and uh, you know it's a pretty cool game. Uh, I may do some videos on it. We'll see. I don't think anyone want to watch it. I streamed it, and like nobody watched me play it. So we get back into Space Engineers with a Vengeance. I, I love that game. I made a couple videos of that yesterday. Those should be going up a couple days. Not that it matters because you know this video is date sensitive so it's it's basically what I mean is when I say my space engineers videos will be going up tomorrow it doesn't mean anything to you because this video will be going up god knows when but anyway uh yeah space engineers freaking awesome for those of you who watch uh, my seven days of die stuff guys you should be watching space engineers that game is sick it is sick I mean it's so much fun the stuff you can do in it all right so lots of rocks here All right, breaking up some rocks. I should have brought Fat Planet in on this one. <laughs> Would have been nice to have someone, someone to talk to. But this needs to be done. I need these iron fragments. It's, it is a really good supply of iron. Although, I am still going to go down south within a video or two. What is this, episode 17, I think? 
And this is episode 17. Next video will be a... Did I pick up something I wasn't supposed to? No, I didn't. Next video will be... Can I cook uh, mount down hunting rifles in the forge? I think I can. I should probably try that. Anyway, next video will be a building video, and then the video after that I'll probably go down south. I just... I don't know where I'm going to stay down south, you know? Like at night. Some people said, you know, you could go anywhere. You could dig a hole in the ground or something. I'll, I'll probably just dig a hole in the ground and just, be, and just sit there and not move. Um, but maybe. I don't know. Maybe in the side of a hill. I, I really don't know, honestly. I, I kind of want to stay in a building. I could stay at... Um, you know, I could build a bunch of ladders and just go up on, on the roof of one of those uh, factories. That would be pretty, pretty easy. 241, okay. So, 132 and 132 is 266. I'm notoriously bad for math. Well, 130 and 130 is 260. And then another, t one, 164. Okay, so 164. So, no, 264. 264 will be 22 ingots. So, we're at about... Oh, we're almost at 264. So we've got about 11 ingots, if I'm doing my math correctly, which, who knows, I probably, I'm probably not. But uh, we, we're up to about uh, 22 ingots right now. And it's not bad, but it's going to be interesting to see what we get from the girders. Let's go ahead and eat something. But you know what? We didn't only get the... Uh, the iron fragments. We also got the guns and the rocket launcher and hubcaps. So we've actually gotten more iron up here than just 22 ingots. But with a full day up here, I'd like to get like a stack of ingots, you know, to make it feel like it's worth it. But yeah, it's fine. We'll work with what we got. Six. All right, this thing's gonna need to be repaired soon. And the days go by so slow when you're uh, when you're up here doing this kind of stuff. Alright, so, yeah, Space Engineers, it's awesome. What else have I been playing? Got back into Left 4 Dead 2. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, I like to play Left 4 Dead 2. If anyone ever wants to play with me, Versus, let me know. I'm, I'm always up for a Versus game. Although, I usually get pretty fired up when I play, but I'm trying to control that. <laughs> so, maybe you don't want to play with me, I don't know. But, I don't know, it's pretty fun. Usually when I play people for the first time, I try and be a little bit more nicer than I usually you would be. Um, sometimes when I play with people I actually know and feel comfortable with, I'm a little bit more, I don't know, rambunctious, running my mouth. I don't know what you want to call it. But, yeah. So we've got the, the inside cabin in our house, you know, somewhat secure. I have put the second door on it, and, uh, you know, it seems like a pretty good... Uh, cabin, but when the zombies did get in, like when I left my door open at the beginning of the last video, they actually broke through those walls, uh, and I don't think it took that long. So I'm not quite sure that cabin's gonna, I'm not quite sure how strong that cabin's gonna be. We do need a way to kill the zombies. There's no way around that. We need a way to kill them. And I'm thinking a trench is probably gonna be the best way. Now there's two ways I can do, actually there's a few ways I can deal with the trench, but there's two ways I'm actually thinking I'll deal with the trench. Now, one way is I put spikes at the bottom, you know, which don't last that long, but, you know, they're still pretty good. They'll kill some kill some zombies. Uh, or I could put the big trunk tips at the bottom. Now, the big trunk, ti trunk tips do a lot less damage than the spikes, but... It's a horde, isn't it? Wait, hold on a sec. We got a little close to Dyersville there. Yeah, that's a horde. Well, actually, it doesn't look like a horde. Maybe. It might be a horde. Let's get the hell out of here. Actually, I got an idea. We can hit the gas station. Although, you know what? We really don't have a lot of room. Yeah, we should just stick with rocks. We don't have a lot of room. If I hit that gas station, there'll be so many different kinds of things. I won't be able to loot them all. Actually, I don't think that's a roaming horde. I think that's just Dyersville. <laughs> So there's there's another way I could think about um, solidifying my base, and it would 
you know, digging a trench around my entire base is going to be very, very time consuming and very, very difficult and just a big headache. And I'm not really looking forward to doing it. But what I was thinking I could do is now the zombies theoretically, if they attack my base, they theoretically should go after my doors. That's confirmed. You know, I've talked to people I trust and they've said that zombies should make a beeline for your doors. So I'm going to have a door uh, set up um, in my base. Uh, on the outer wall, there's going to be a door. And in front of that door is going to be a pit. And I've done this on other worlds. I think season four, I might have done that. I, I was building, if, if it's the right season I'm thinking of, I was building in Husker Ave. And I put a three layer uh, reinforced concrete wall around one of the buildings in Husker Ave. And I basically just made one, one door and I put a pit in front of the door with spikes at the bottom and the zombies would fall into that pit and kill themselves or they wouldn't, you know, but they weren't really attacking my walls very much. So if they will go for the door and be tricked into falling into the pit in front of the door, I might not have to, uh, I might not have to make a, a trench around my entire outer wall. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to make a trench around the entire wall. If I have to make a trench around the entire outer wall, I will, I will dig the pit and I will put probably these trunk tips at the bottom. I, I didn't bring them with me. But the, yeah, there's trunk tips you can put at the bottom. I made some last video. And the thing about those is they do a lot less damage, like I was saying before. But the cool thing about them is they hurt the zombies, like, so often. Uh, hold on a sec. One sec. Is that in Dyersville? Nope. It's on the way to my house. Okay. Northwest, one click. Okay, so anyway, um, those trunk tips are, hypothetically speaking, invulnerable. They can't be destroyed. Although, in tests on multiplayer servers, like, I've spawned them and, like, you know, tested them out using cheat mode. And they would eventually break. But I think they're almost impenetrable to breaking. And what happened is the zombies will keep bouncing up and down on them. And what's really cool is, as the zombie gets hurt, they are unable to, they're unable to attack. It's like some kind of flinching reflex when they get hurt. So they can't attack. Alright, uh, so the spike, the spike, the big spike tips might actually be better than the, than the smaller spikes. Where is this thing? Northwest one click. Mm. Yeah, it definitely didn't go far enough. Northwest one click. Oh, it's the one that drops up here. Let's pull out our shotgun. Mm, there it is. Okay. Very good. Okay, we'll take that. Um, what can I get rid of? Oh, crap. Oh, man. We gotta take these rebar. Uh, bandages? Eh. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get rid of this. Nah, I don't really need lead that much. And I definitely don't need that many small stones. Okay, very good. So let's head home. So anyway, like I said, the trunk tips, um, i they say they're indestructible. I've seen them destroyed, but it did take a long time. I think they're virtually indestructible. And as the zombies bounce up and down on them, they get hurt. And as they get hurt, they have a flinching reflex, and they can't attack, which makes it harder for them to attack the walls in the pit. Now, the pit walls are going to have to be made out of, like, something really strong. It can't just be dirt. It's probably going to have to be... I don't know. I kind of want to make it out of wood, just because, like, I don't want to... I don't think I have enough resources to make the entire pit out of reinforced con uh, reinforced super concrete. I don't know what to call it. Uh, reinforced iron concrete. I don't know what it's called. But I don't, I'm not going to have enough resources for that. So I'm thinking the pit will be walled with, with reinforced wood. Basically this stuff in the pit. Yeah, I think that's probably the way to go. Are there zombies spawning in my freaking house again? No. There's not. Okay. Very good. Very good. The house looks clear. Is there, there's no door on the inside. Oh, well, whatever. 
Not really needed, to be honest. Okay, let's get downstairs. And let's take a look at our. Let's take a look at the hall. All right, so we walked out of there with uh, 363 iron fragments. Pretty decent. We got a bunch of hubcaps. We got some car filters. We got a gun. We got a rocket launcher. I'm gonna cook all this stuff up at night, and uh, tomorrow will definitely be another building day. We're gonna work on that. We're gonna work on that wall some more. And um, if you guys have any ideas on how you want me to handle the trench around the place, anything like that, uh, if you have a, if you have a, if you play this game and you have some kind of build that you like, take a screenshot and send it to me in Steam. Because if I like your build, I could use it. Uh, so, if you ever have any ideas on how you want to do stuff, don't really explain it in the comments. Because when people explain things in the comments, it's, it's very hard to follow what you guys are saying. So, um, go ahead and take a screenshot and send it to me in Steam. That would be great. So, that's going to be it for episode 17. We'll see you next time for episode 18. Till then, take it easy.